The A45 comes in two different versions. The base model offers 387 horsepower while the S model offers 421. And this is by the way 40 more than the predecessor offers. Um, regarding to the um, torque, the base model delivers 460 newton meters and the top version delivers 500 newton meters of maximum torque. The engine is combined with all-wheel drive and of course always with the AMG automatic gearbox. There's no real reason to talk about the craftsmanship and materials here in the A45 because everything is as expected from an AMG. If you take a look at the competitors of the AMG A45S, the list is relatively short. Although there are plenty of sporty compact cars in the market like the Volkswagen Golf R, Ford Focus RS or Hyundai i30N. But none of them can keep up with the AMG when it comes to power and performance. Only the BMW M2 competition with its 410 horsepower or the 400 horsepower Audi RS3 come close to the 421 horsepower of the AMG. In terms of price, the competitors are in no way different to the sporty Mercedes. The Audi RS3 costs from 56,000 euros and the BMW M2 competition from 61,900 euros in Germany. It is important to know that both the Audi and the AMG always have an automatic as well as four-wheel drive on board. The more purist-minded BMW features rear-wheel drive and a six-speed manual transmission as standard. AMG says they put in larger air valves to optimize the gas exchange. Compared to the A35, AMG says the engine of the A45 has been turned around by 180 degrees to get more fresh air into the engine. AMG says they use nanoslide technology to reduce friction between the piston and the cylinder. But more important is the result. This engine gives you loads of fun and when you push the pedal to the metal, you really do not care why it does what it does. AMG says the A45 should take about 8.3 liters per 100 km driven. During our test drive we used about, let's say, 10 liters, but that was a normal drive. So I think if you really push the car to the limit, you should expect something above 13, maybe 15. AMG says they put a new clutch into the rear axle to deliver the optimum amount of torque to the right or the left rear wheel to make the drive even more dynamic. And when you then drive the first bends and curves, you instantly feel that was a great idea. The suspension of the A45 is really stiff and this is the same when you use the comfort mode. AMG promises loads of power, loads of performance and extremely driving fun. And this is exactly what that car delivers. It doesn't matter if you drive on road or on track, it's always a great pleasure and always great fun to perform with that car. When we talk about the price, they didn't tell us what the car will cost when it comes to the market, but I expect something about 55 for the standard version, about a bit less than 60 for this um, S version in Europe, in Euro. But when you look at the car, what I really like with it is the exterior design because it does look like a real AMG, not like a standard A-Class. When you look at the interior, the materials, the craftsmanship, the infotainment, everything is at the highest standard that you can expect from a car like AMG. And I have to say, if you talk about performance and compact class, I think this is one of the cars you definitely have to try to drive.